Hello. Recently I uploaded to YouTube a video tutorial for Affinity Photo and you could also do it in Designer about making a Polaroid image like this by downloading a mock-up of the Polaroid frames and inserting your own picture into it. Now, in one of the Facebook groups I'm in, Affinity Photo Tutorial, Andy Squibb made a couple of frames for sort of Polaroids and has put them into the file section of the Affinity Photo Tutorial uh, web uh, Facebook group and he has also allowed me to add those files into my own Facebook group which is the fans of Serif Software so you can get these files from either of these two groups and I'm sure there are other files out there that you can download if you want to get them from somewhere else. So basically what we're going to try and do is to make this but with the individual frames rather than downloading a mock-up that has all the frames there. Now, like I said before, this can be done in Affinity Designer or Photo and in the last video I did it in Photo. This time I'm going to do it in Designer pretty much because the two files that Andy has uploaded are mainly designer files but you can open them in Affinity Photo as well which is, one is the T779 frame which I think is more the normal Polaroid frame and there is the T95 uh, Polaroid frame which I think is for sort of more landscape images but just to show that these can be opened in Affinity Photo I have one of those open here so as you can open it in Affinity Photo you, know, you can use it just the same but I'm going to close a photo because I don't need that anymore it's only there for demonstrating that you can use it so when you have downloaded the files you can open up the group because I don't need the artboard part of this I just want the frame so I'm going to highlight the group which is below the artboard and I'm going to right click that and copy and then I'm going to come to this image which I'm going to be using which is a just a portrait I got from pixabay.com so then I'm just going to paste that file into the image. Now you can resize this um, as you want which I'm going to do just a little bit so I'm going to hold down the control key and just downsize it a little bit and just do a little bit more there we go right and then move it into position which I'm going to roughly put just over that eye like that and then I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate that file now you can either do it by right clicking on here coming to duplicate or you can hold down the alt key and if you're on the move tool just click and drag out another copy and then let go of the alt key and then you have a second group here now you don't have to do this but it might help later on if you rename these groups so I'm going to call this one left eye and I'll call this one right eye now you can also alter the arrangement of which one is higher or lower in the stack and you can also use in this handle that's above the frame and you can rotate it it don't have to be square so let's put that about there and then let's pick the the other frame which is the more normal Polaroid frame 
drop that down, right click the group, copy, come back to the picture I'm working on and then edit and paste. Right again I just need to resize this so I'm going to hold down the control key, come to the corner and resize it. And then it's just a case of placing this around where you want them and what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate it a few times by holding down the ALT key and dragging out a few versions of this each time holding down the ALT key as I drag out a new version Let's go there and then I'll have a couple down the bottom here let's try this one and I'll put that down there now this is where we come to sort of having to think about which ones go above others because I really want these eye ones to be near the top so I'm going to click and drag this up to maybe not directly right at the top let's have a look yes yeah, so I'll put it there so I've got one overlapping and try this one and move this up and I'll try that there and for now I'll leave that like that I can always rearrange some of them as we do this so the next thing I want to do is come back to the background image and I'm going to right click that and copy so it's just a case of opening each group selecting the top layer in this group and come into the edit menu and then paste inside or control alt v and as you can see it will place that image there so i can shut that group you don't have to shut them but come to the next one press control and zero don't know why it's zoomed in but so click on the top layer in that little group and then edit paste inside so the next one edit paste inside I don't know quite where that went where did that go oh it made it a I must have just pressed paste or something let me delete that try that again That's better, it's down there. Um, come to the next one. It's just a case of remembering where you are. It's probably almost easier just to click on the picture that you want until you get the blue bounding box around it if you're on the move tool and then find where that is because that will be highlighted so you can open the group and then edit paste inside it is a sort of long winded process but I think the end result is quite good so just the one left now so we've got to find that one which is down there and then edit paste inside so now you could if you wanted to rearrange 
you know, whether certain Polaroid frames are above or below. I don't think. I mean, you could even move them around. If I move this one, I, know, I can't really move the frame, but I can alter its position. Let's try bring this a bit nearer the top. About right at the top. No, it doesn't work right at the top. leave that there. So you get the idea, you can rearrange them and probably make a better job of it than I could just by using the individual frames. Now if you don't want the background image what you could do is just highlight that background image itself a new background and we just copy that and then Make sure that I'm still on the bottom image. Yes, we are. And then e edit and paste. And then I'm just going to resize that. And reposition it like that. So that would be the end of the tutorial. Like I said, you can do this in Affinity Photo or Affinity Designer. And it's fairly easy to do. Thank you for Andy Squibb for letting me use his frames in my group and in this video. Thank you for watching and goodbye.